Hi guys, sorry I didn't update you with uh, continuing to fit this belly pan but um, my phone ran out of charge because I had it on video and I didn't turn it off so while it's on my phone it was on 2% so as you can see the belly pan is fitted I can't pretend that it's been easy for me um, it's really tricky as in getting inside you have to tighten the bolts up and it's very hard I've got big hands and it's hard to get in there it didn't help those black plates that I was so proud that I put on I put them on the wrong way around so they didn't fit so I had to change all that um, and for the eagle eyed of you you will see there is meant to be two clamps one there and one there and the same on the other side unfortunately I've tried and tried and tried and I can't get the other clamps on so I will get a friend of mine to help me with that I think um, but yeah I'm pleased that at least it's on and it's secure and it looks really good and it will protect the underneath of the bike the oil filter etc so yeah I'm really pleased with the way it looks and I've now ordered some panniers and a pannier support rack um, it's a company called bag tech I think I can't remember what they're called <laughs> but they're due here in the next few days they're soft panniers I wanted the Hepco and Becker ones that I had on my old V-Strom but when I contacted Hepco and Becker they didn't well they said that the ones that I had originally didn't fit the XT model of the V-Strom 1050 so I'm still not sure why but anyway I've ordered uh, a set that will fit so they'll be here in the next few days and hopefully I'll get the correct radiator guard um, yeah I'm pleased with everything I think that looks really good and the next thing is the engine bars because really I want to get some spotlights put on here so yeah that's going to be one for the future anyway guys that's it for today um, I'll speak to you on the next one ride safe